Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Sea Legend. You all must be aware of a recent unfortunate maritime disaster in which a container ship crashed into a US bridge. The consequences of the incident were terrible and the ship's crew were held accountable for this mishap. All this happened because the ship's main engines failed to start at a crucial point. So it is obligatory you keep your engines geared up at all the time to avoid such incidents. In this topic, I'll discuss how an ME engine's HPS and HCU accumulators are to be charged with nitrogen in order to ensure the necessary hydraulic oil peak flow is available at all the times for injection of the fuel oil and activation of the exhaust valve. So guys, let's get started. On MEB and MEC type main engines, nitrogen precharged hydraulic accumulators are fitted on the distribution block to provide necessary hydraulic oil flow. In case this nitrogen pressure drops below the recommended values, there are chances of rupturing the rubber diaphragm located inside these accumulators, further causing considerable drop in hydraulic pressure resulting misfire of the main engines. Hence, these HPS and HCU system accumulators are to be checked periodically for nitrogen pressure and kept charged accordingly respective to the temperatures. To begin with, always perform the job with engines in stop condition. Lube oil pump is put off. The turning gear is engaged and start air valve is blocked. It is very important to verify the availability of the necessary toolkit, especially the adapter and the pressure gauge. Never use any inadequate tools to perform the task. The selection of the nitrogen bottle is also equally important. I would strongly recommend to use United Product nitrogen gas bottles with pressure range of 200 bar. So always do requisite a correct nitrogen bottles for this operation. Prior checking the nitrogen pressure, the accumulator should be free of any lube oil that is servo oil pressure. Always make a marking for the initial position of valve number 420 and 421. To relieve the lube oil pressure from the system, close the high pressure inlet valve 420 and open the drain valve number 421. With this position of the valves, all the lube oil is drained out of the accumulator. Verify the system is pressure free by connecting a pressure gauge at minimus point 455 located on top of the distribution block. The system pressure must be indicating 0 bar. Remove the protecting cover from the accumulator nipple. Then remove the cap nut. There is an open and closed direction arrows on one face of the adapter. Before installing the adapter on the charging nipple, always to close this inside valve on the adapter. This avoids any gas leakage during its installation. First, you need to check the nitrogen pressure. For this, mount the pressure gauge with the hose union nut on the charging point. Then open the valve on the adapter by rotating the valve disc in open direction. With infrared gun, check the temperature of the accumulator. Here you can see the pressure is 137.6 bar at 40 degrees Celsius. Compare this data with the pressure temperature adjustment table given in the manual. As per the chart, at 40 degrees Celsius, the nitrogen pressure has to be 148 bar. That means we need to charge this accumulator. In order to charge the nitrogen, close the adapter valve and remove the pressure gauge. Shift the nitrogen bottle in close vicinity of the accumulator and open the seal on the bottle. Next, mount the reducing valve on the nitrogen cylinder. Then mount the pressure gauge on the reducing valve. 
with the adapter valve in close position, mount the filling hose on the adapter. The other end of the filling hose is to be connected before the pressure relief valve of the reducing valve. Open the nitrogen bottle main valve. The gauge on the reducing valve indicates the bottle pressure. Same has to be about 200 bar. Next, open the valve on the adapter. The pressure gauge connected on the reducing valve will indicate the accumulator pressure. Now slowly increase the pressure of the reducing valve until the pressure gauge indicates 1 to 2 bar above the pressure stated in the pressure adjustment table. Once the charge pressure is achieved, close the valve on the pressure reducer and the main bottle. Wait for 5 minutes for the pressure to stabilize. Then relieve the excess pressure by using a bleed screw. At 148 bar, close the adapter valve. Bleed out the line pressure and remove the pressure gauge hose. Then remove the gas filling hose. Reconfirm the nitrogen pressure in the accumulator is in line with the pressure adjustment table at the respective temperatures. Friends, it is very important to check for any signs of leaks from the charging point of the accumulator. Once confirmed there is no leaks, put back the cap screw and the protection cover. Never forget to close the high pressure outlet valve 4 to 1 and open the inlet valve number 4 to 0. Once all the SU and HPS accumulators are charged to the appropriate values, always do test the main engines in ahead and astern directions. Your engines are now ready to rock and roll in the deep blue seas. In the next session, we will study in detail the techniques to renew the damaged diaphragm and installing back the accumulators for the hydraulic power supply units. So do stay tuned with my channel Sea Legend to gather more information about your daily jobs on board. If you really find this video informative, do like and comment below with your thoughts. See you in the next chapter. Until then, wish you all a safe seas and a healthy stay on board. Thank you.